tuned to the end of the video for what I think might just be the longest walk of shame by a law enforcement officer. But you be the judge and comment the below once you see it. This video was intended to inform and educate the public. If you're scared to exercise a right, then there's something wrong. Welcome everybody. Welcome back to the Junkyard News Channel. Today, we have an important topic to discuss. Why judges often advise individuals to exercise the right to remain silent when interacting with the police or law enforcement in general. It's a crucial aspect of our legal system, so let's dive into it. Before we get started, if you enjoy content on legal rights, justice, and everything in between, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, and ring that bell for notifications when we upload future videos. That way you never miss an update. First things first, let's talk about the right to remain silent. It is a fundamental right protected by the Fifth Amendment of the United States Constitution. You've probably heard it before. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. There you have it. Anything you say at any time to a law enforcement officer can be used against you in a court of law. But it cannot be used to help you. Huh? Is that your personal camera? I'm sorry, I don't answer questions. I don't answer questions, man. I don't answer questions. Ah, no questions. I don't sir. answer questions. No questions, I'm ah. Hmm? Got some ID? Do you suspect me of committing a crime? It's just a yes or no question. I don't answer questions, sir. In some of the video clips that I've uploaded to YouTube in the past shows exactly what I'm talking about. When I first dove into YouTube and I first started uploading content on YouTube, uh, being a First Amendment auditor, being a public photographer, videographer, I came into contact with a lot of law enforcement officers. You're just taking pictures of our, of our facility, though? Again, I have to reiterate, uh, sorry, I don't answer questions. Oh, is that true, or we got a little 148 attitude here? Oh, okay. 148 attitude? What is a 148 attitude, sir? Well, I'm wondering why you won't talk to me. Got any weapons on you tonight? I don't answer questions. <laughs> yes, sir. Remember, it's a one-way. It's a one-way thing. Well, am I being interrogated for a crime? No, I'm talking to you. Well, I'm trying to determine if there is a crime. Exactly. So, what would be the point of me incriminating myself? And sometimes I drove them a little crazy because it's no matter what you're doing, any time an officer of the law comes up to you, they're trained to investigate ask questions and try to get you to incriminate yourself in one way or another. Give them information that they can use against you. And that's why I'm proud to say I don't answer questions. We got a call of some suspicious people out front videotaping and it becomes concerning. Hey, the name and badge number? Yeah. My name is Deputy Eichmann. My address is 704. Appreciate it, sir. Okay. Do you have an ID on you? I don't answer questions. So why are you filming the policeman coming and going from the back lot? Can I get your name and badge number? Yeah, Sergeant Greg White. My number is 5297. You okay? You seem like you're Appreciate it, sir. What's your name? Dennis Birch. How are you? What's your name? P-F-A-U. How do you pronounce that? That's uh, foul. That's actually pretty neat. I like that. Not a problem. Hope you have a good day. You too, sir. I don't answer questions. How come? I don't answer questions. Okay. What's your name, bud? I don't answer questions. Man, we did. <laughs> Told you my name. <laughs> what kind of what kind of friendly relationship can we have? It's no You're offense, man. I just don't answer questions. Well, man, that's kind of unique. I mean, I answered question. If I ask for your name, are you going to give it to me? D Shields. Yep, that's me. Do you guys have employee numbers or badge numbers? Yep, 165. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. What's your name? I'm sorry, I don't answer questions. Okay. So I'm going to ask you to move along. I'd like for that to be hopefully something that you could think about doing for me. Hey man, we don't want you here and we don't want to be here. The right to remain silent and a term everybody should get accustomed to saying when dealing with law enforcement, I don't answer questions. Police can detain Texans who stand on the law and they say, you just got to wait till we get a fingerprint scanner because you didn't answer the question that the law says you don't have to answer. That's absurd. 
I appreciate you wanting to say hi, but I find that rather suspicious. Nah, I Can I see your ID? I always show up. That's what you do? Are both of those cameras on? I don't want to answer that question. Very well. Are you living for no? Uh, I don't ask questions. Here? I choose not to answer that question. So, I'm assuming if there's anything in there, it's not dangerous to the public? I don't answer questions, sir. Is there anything I can help you with? Or are you good? I don't answer questions. Do you have a name? I choose not to answer that question. Uh, I like to ask questions. I don't answer many questions, though. Yeah, I'm with you on that. Thank you, sir. You have a very nice day. You too. Thank you very much for this lesson. Now let's talk briefly about why you would like to take the stance of not answering questions. Number one, potential self-incrimination. When you talk to police, you might unintentionally say something that could be used against you in court. It's not about guilt or innocence, it's about protecting your right. Number two, complex legal proceedings. Legal proceedings can be complex and not everybody is well versed in the intricacies of the law. Judges advise silence to prevent individuals from unwillingly and unknowingly making their situation more difficult in the court system. Is that you with the UAV earlier? Sorry? Do you have a UAV? Was you the one I saw earlier? I'm sorry. I don't. I don't answer questions. Oh, okay. You're up to something. There. All right. No. Why do I have to be up to something to not answer questions from law enforcement? Isn't that oh. the Supreme Court says? Oh, okay. Say. Police talk to you, say as little as possible, and you can't get into trouble? Okay. Misinterpretation of statements. Statements can be misinterpreted, and nuances can be lost. Judges often caution against talking to the police to avoid any misunderstandings that might arise during questioning. Lawyers and legal experts always advise you, never talk to police, never answer questions, exercise your right to remain silent. Even the Supreme Court says, if the police talk to you, say as little as possible, and you can't get yourself into trouble. And in a, another brief explanation of why judges advise against talking to police, experts will tell you, certainly, judges want individuals to be aware of their rights and to have legal representation during any questioning. This helps ensure a fair and just legal process. And if you ask any attorney worth his weight in salt about answering questions or talking to the police, Nine times out of ten, you're going to get these answers. One, remain calm. Stay calm and composed. You can assert your rights to remain silent politely. Request an attorney. If you're uncomfortable talking without legal representation, always request an attorney before questions are asked and answered. That doesn't mean the police have to stop asking you questions. It just informs them, I'm not answering any questions, and if you find yourself in court, you exercise your right to remain silent, it can go a long way. Can I get your first name so at least I know who I'm speaking with? No, I don't want to answer any questions. Nothing? All right. No. Okay. Can we get your ID real quick? You go ahead and tell me when I'm free to go. I'm just going to stay here and take pictures. So, no problem. So you're not committing a crime? All right. But again, the Sheriff's Department policy, they call, we show up. And, so. Not a problem. Can I get your name and badge number? Root. Root? I appreciate you stopping by, man. Yeah. Hang on. Let me get your name real quick. Uh, no, thank you. I'm going to be on my way, okay? All right. Fair enough. You have a nice day. All right. You too. Thanks. Three, know your rights. Familiarize yourself with your rights, especially the right to remain silent. It is a powerful tool to protect yourself during legal proceedings and interactions. And there you have it, folks. Understanding why judges advise against talking to the police is crucial for safeguarding your rights. Remember, this information is not legal advice, but aims to provide a general understanding. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and comment down below your thoughts on the video and the topic at hand, which is never answer questions. What are, what are we filming here for? Nah, I don't answer questions. Okay, all right. Hello? Hello? Who are you? And why are you uh, out here? Can I help you with something? Yeah, why are you videotaping our uh, 
a PD building. I don't answer questions. You don't answer questions? Thanks for tuning in to Junkyard News. And if you've reached this far in the video, here you go. As promised, what I think is the longest walk of shame you'll see on YouTube. Enjoy, and we'll see you in the next video. We were just concerned that you were out here recording or taking photos, and it's not illegal to do that. Yeah. But it raises a concern, okay? Sheriff across the street. That's not jaywalking right here, is it? Come on, let me see you jaywalk. <laughs> you have a nice day, man. There's <laughs> no room for him. He doesn't want to jaywalk. He's going up to the light. <laughs> I'm sorry, I find that hilarious. He was, he was gonna cross the street. He was gonna jaywalk across the street. Then I told him, let me get you video, let me video you crossing the street and jaywalking. He goes, I guess not. And he decided to go to the cross, the crosswalk. That's hilarious. I'm sorry, I do. I find that hilarious. There you go.